Hey guys! So I wanted to do a quick video and let everyone know um, where I've been and why I haven't been making videos the past few weeks. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been responding to comments and um, thanking you guys for subscribing. I still obviously appreciate it very much. I just haven't been able to get to my computer. So um, I think it was my giveaway announcement video where I said I'd been sick and I hadn't been feeling well and I finally, it was late getting up and um, so I was telling you guys that's why I was late getting that video up. And um, the problem was I kept having really, really bad headaches and they wouldn't go away for anything. And um, I would say I went through about two weeks of like the worst headache I have ever had in my life, sick the entire time, um, hard to even get out of bed. and. In and out of the ER, um, you know, the doctors getting my head, getting rid of my headache while I was there with certain types of medicine and then sending me home and, you know, within a couple hours, all the symptoms coming back. So, um, you know, my, my husband and I were so frustrated because we knew something was going on, but we had no idea what and we just kept getting sent home. So finally we got sent to, um, I guess the right doctor and he was a neurosurgeon and after running a billion tests, I was in the hospital for, I think, four or five days. Um, but they have found that I have this really strange condition called pseudotumor cerebri syndrome. And the pseudotumor basically um, is that it mimics symptoms of a brain tumor. Um, with the insane, intense headache, my left hand was and still is completely numb um, and my eyes crossed and so I couldn't see anything I had double vision and I still actually can't see all that well this is the first day I've had makeup on in probably three weeks um, but I I at least don't have to wear a patch anymore I had to have a patch over um, my left eye because if I didn't it would cross and then I couldn't see anything so in order to see I had to cover one of them up but um, anyway, so the condition, like I said, is called pseudotumor cerebri syndrome, and um, like I said, it mimics symptoms of a brain tumor, but yet there is no brain tumor present, thank goodness. Um, basically, my spinal fluid pressure is extremely elevated, and it's for no apparent reason. Um, they also call it, I believe, idiopathic um, intracranial pressure, intracranial meaning inside your head, or your pressure on your brain basically and the idiopathic part meaning that um, there's really no cause for it they don't know what causes it it just happens so um, in any event my spinal fluid pressure was extremely high and it was that fluid surrounds your brain as well so that was causing the extreme headaches and um, it's also pushing on my optic nerve which was causing my eye to cross and then um, they're kind of unsure if the numbness in my hand is completely due to that, but they said it could very well be due to the fact that, um, you know, your spinal fluid, um, gosh, I, I, I'm not going to explain this very well. I'm obviously not a doctor, but um, I guess your nerve endings and everything come off of your spine, so it could absolutely make your limbs numb, if that makes sense, so. Anyway, um, they found this all out by doing spinal taps, and um, they're horrible, yes, if anyone has ever had them, they are, they are as bad as everyone says they are, that's the question I keep getting. Um, oh my gosh, does a spinal tap really hurt as much as everyone says it does? Yeah, it really does. <laughs> and I had three of them in a week, and um, thank goodness, I don't, I don't think I have to have any more for a while. Um, but they tried to get my pressure down by doing spinal taps, they would relieve, um, they would take out like several vials of spinal fluid hoping that that would reduce my pressure and um, also put me on um, a medication that's supposed to reduce pressure. So um, they sent me home from the hospital after four days and on the medication um, and I believe this was like a Friday so we could go Friday and then I had to go back into the neurosurgeon's office that Tuesday for another spinal tap and that is how they also determine your pressure how high your pressure is when they um, first stick the needle in. Apparently there's some sort of gauge or something on there that tells them what your pressure is and that's how they gauge and diagnose the pseudotumor cerebri syndrome. So it's very fascinating, very weird. I don't really understand it but 
Anyway, um, so the, the spinal taps and the medicine should have made my pressure go down, and it wasn't. So I actually had surgery um, this past Friday, and they put in what they call a shunt. And they basically went in through my back, um, through my belly, and on my side. I have like about an incision this big on, on each, my stomach, back, and my side, my right side. And um, a shunt, basically the best way I can explain it, and any, anyone who is in the medical field and is watching this is probably going to laugh at me, and I'm sorry, but... Um, it's like a valve that they're putting in um, through my spinal cord to regulate the pressure. So this valve will open. It can sense when my pressure is getting too high and the valve will open and release some spinal fluid, therefore reducing the pressure on my brain. And um, I guess it just gets released into like a void spot in my belly. I don't there's some technical medical term for that space. I don't know what it is though, so I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so in short, I guess that wasn't even really short, was it? <laughs> but basically, so that's what I've been going through. I'm doing much better. Um, my eyes finally are starting to straighten out. Thank goodness I can see again. Um, my headaches are starting to go away. Yay. I just, have, after having a headache for a month and like the worst headache you could imagine, um, for a month straight, no medicine would take it away. It, like the surgery pain, I don't care about. I'm, I'm good with that, you know? I can get around and be fine now that I don't have my head feeling like it's gonna pop, literally. So. <laughs> but anyway, enough about that. So that's where I've been. Um, I am on the road to getting better, thank goodness. And um, I did mention that I was gonna have another giveaway at 150 subscribers, and I did reach that. Um, so I will, I don't, I have not had the opportunity to get out though and get any, um, prizes or gifts or anything, so I will do that just as soon as I can, and then I will let everyone know what this contest will be, and, um, I'll start having new videos up soon, so thank you guys for subscribing, for watching, and, um, yeah, I will hopefully have some stuff up soon. Thanks guys. See ya.